I got something a little exciting for me today to share and I wanted to make a quick video about it today I broke I'm not my personal record but I ran under a 10 minute a mile pace for the first time in five years probably so I was, I was pretty excited about that what was even cooler was that it's it's snowing here where I live or it's it had snowed and it's real cold but I, I went in and put on my those shoes because they're waterproof and I didn't want to run uh, it's been real easy to be lazy the last couple of days and I pushed through and when I decided I was gonna try to run under 10 minute pace and I did and there a lot of people out there that run that's nothing to them but to me it's huge I'm 235 pounds every day I'm shuffling and that's not an easy pace to keep for me it was just really cool to overcome and during the run I don't know what happened I, I've been a uh, this has been a w weird week I've been applying for jobs and had to do things for a job I, I know a guy that died of cancer that I mean he just found out six months ago and he's he died that's been weighing on me the last day and during the run but before or actually before my run I just decided I was like no matter what I'm gonna do everything I can to run under a 10 minute pace which I never do I mean I'm usually in the high tens so I just and I, I was gonna do three miles so I I just took off I just started running pretty much as fast as I could on at a pace and I, I don't know what the numbers are yet I'm gonna have to check I'll put a screenshot up how about that of my pace I, I know at first I was running like 920 pace because it's downhill and then I when I got a mile in I almost got hit by a car by McDonald's because this lady was looking anyway pay attention to runners please and then uh, I got two miles in and I was dying I'd already had to walk four times because I'm running way faster than I normally do but that last mile I remember looking at my watch I got a new watch by the way I don't know how to do that anyway I got a new watch and that last mile it was weird I, I, it was weird I just got I a lot of things in my life have changed the last two or three years and I don't know I just put I just put ball them all into one and just made myself win for once I just made myself do it I didn't let myself have an out and I it, it was hurt but I, I was able to overcome and it was so nice it, it was just nice there was just a lot of things in life that I wanted and when I got divorced I knew I wasn't gonna be a father ever and I knew I was gonna be a divorced person and that totally changed the trajectory of my life and that's why I started Project Freedom Growth which is another channel and a blog and I'll put links in the description shameless plug I just wanted to I had to be able to challenge myself in some way because I always wanted to be a father and when I had that failed marriage I knew in my heart I was gonna have a kid so I had to channel what I wanted in a family into something else and that's kinda of what Project Freedom Growth is turning out to be for me and today was just one of those times where I was able to channel frustrations and losses in my life to, into just one mile in 10 minutes and just I mean it was three miles total but the last mile was the hardest I, I can't you I can't say what I, I was telling myself it wasn't nice but I was just trying to push myself and five minutes before the run was over I started I could tell that I could make it I was gonna hit the mark if I just didn't stop and I don't know I can't explain all the stuff that was going in my head it's just it was it was like a release and then it was a little, it was a little emotional. I mean, I, I didn't cry or anything. It's just, I just fucking won one, you know? And it's just nice to win one. I don't know if I'm going to actually post this, but I was just pumped up after that run and breaking down barriers, trying to defeat my inner bitch. 
and today I did that. So I'm going to have a victory lap with some grilled cheese and tomato soup, which is not good on the diet, but there's snow on the ground. And I will probably have some beer as well. I have a goal that I think I'm going to try to achieve in 2018 or excuse me, 2019, depending on my job situation and the, the amount of time I'll have to prepare for that goal. Today was a good day and I just, I, I don't put videos out very often, but I want to put this one out. Just, it was awesome. And RIP Jim Greer, you're a nice guy, man. Later.